Rafael Navarez is a former Jehovah's Witness pastor. In an address entitled My Way to Islam, he describes the circumstances leading to his decision to become Muslim. That I have to speak to my brothers and sisters and talk to you about Islam from an American perspective, an American born in America, not Muslim, without Muslim parents. So sometimes I feel like I am not worthy and I don't deserve certainly to be in the same category as some of the fine brothers that I've had an opportunity to listen to this morning and this afternoon and certainly uh, later on today and throughout the convention. But I've learned one thing about Islam and that is that you do not argue with God. So I'll take whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses me with and I hope to do the best that I can. I, uh, I have a very uh, kind of unique background in a way I, to kind of recap a little bit about uh, my experiences, I'm originally from Texas, small west Texas town called Lubbock and it's right in the center of the Bible Belt, kind of, very religious, lots of, lots of churches in the city. Being Hispanic, I speak uh, Spanish fluently, I was uh, of course baptized as a Catholic. I was raised as a Catholic, baptized as a Catholic, until the age of about six years old. When I turned six years old, my parents received a knock on the door and there were some people standing there with the watchtower and the awake and they started to speak with my grandfather and after a while he, they started to come back before long they established a Bible, a home Bible study and uh, before you knew it we were all attending the, the church of Jehovah's Witness we were all attending the, the meetings in the congregation there well the whole family started to go as a Jehovah's Witness before long I started gaining a very accurate knowledge of the Bible which is kind of an irony because anyone that's familiar with the scriptures knows uh, of the, the book of the people knows that, um, that in reality has been polluted so much throughout history. It has been contaminated and polluted so much. But, you know, I've always been of the kind that have felt that in its pure form, even with the Jews, the Torah was given to them in its pure form until it was moved around and polluted, it was from God. The Injil, the same thing, the gospel, when it was given to, uh, to Jesus at the beginning, before the pollution, before the contamination, was good and sound. Well, my knowledge of the Bible started to grow. I began to study more and more. By the time I was 13 years of age, I was baptized as a Jehovah's Witness. And I had this fire, this ambition inside of me to want to do more of God's work so by the time I applied myself I applied myself and then by the time I was 16 years of age it was something very unusual that wasn't done I began I was approved and given their blessing and I started to speak to great crowds big crowds of people I started to give talks in their different uh, congregations by the time I was 20 years of age I had my own congregation that I had to pastor or take care of so as you can see, I was very much entrenched into the teachings of Jehovah's Witnesses, especially knowing that they were different from the world. But see, the world looked at them any time, especially Western society, any time you're different, they look at them as extremists, fanatics, fundamentalists. Sounds familiar, huh? I realize now that it was all in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's planning for me. I, I, I didn't know it at that time. But what I wasn't aware then, that I am aware of now, is that when I was 120 days in the womb of my mother, the angels came and they had already planned where I was going to be, what I was going to do, and that I was going to be here on this day speaking to you, alhamdulillah. So after a lot of consideration in prayer and a lot of heartache, I left. 1979, I left the religion, and I, I didn't go back. Well, then what happened is, I could no longer go to any other religion. Because as a Jehovah's Witness, I was taught that all religions were bad, except Jehovah's Witness. Only Jehovah's Witness gained the approval of God. Everybody else is wrong. So you see, with a clear conscience, I could not go to other religions. And then as a Jehovah's Witness, I no longer believed in their teachings. So I was like a man without a religion. Fortunately, I was not a man without 
a God. I even went back to the Catholic Church. I said I was born a Catholic, and I've been a Jehovah's Witness all my life, so I'm going to go back to the Catholic Church, maybe I missed something. Okay? So I went back to the Catholic Church for about three months, every day. Sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, you know. I go to all of their Masses. It wasn't working. It wasn't working because it didn't appeal here, and it didn't appeal here. About five years ago, I had the privilege and the honor of meeting a Muslim person. And I noticed that person because of the personality, always happy, always bubbly, always friendly. This attracted me to that person. So we started talking, the person told me uh, that it was Muslim, she was Muslim, it was a lady, she was Muslim and everything and all of that. Really, I've heard of Muslim, I've heard of them. You have the religion Islam, no? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. I have no intentions of becoming Muslim. And I said, I'm going to learn how to be a Christian, a good Christian, not Jehovah's Witness way, but how God wants me to be a Christian. So I began to study the Bible very, very uh, closely at night and, and many hours and in prayer. I read all of the New Testament. I thought I had it all lined up. Then I started on the Old Testament, Genesis, Deuteronomy, Exodus. When I got to the prophets, something happened. When I got to reading in the Bible about the prophets, all of a sudden, I wanted to rest my eyes and I started thinking about that person that told me about Islam, about being a Muslim, about a Quran, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I said, okay, I am open-minded now. I don't think like a Jehovah's Witness. I'm going to find out if these people are liars, if they are no good or whatever. I'm going to find out for myself. I started thinking 1.2 billion Muslims. Shaitan is good, but he's not that good to deceive 1.2 billion people. 